Okay, I'm going to go ahead and call the education committee uh, to order. Is there anyone here that would like to speak to the education committee before we get started? All right, we'll go on. We do have a set of minutes for September the 7th. Motion to approve. Second. second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any questions or concerns? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Jeff. Okay, uh, we'll go ahead and start. I'll just give you a well, let's just do the budget amendment first. You have a budget, one budget amendment, and this is a <coughs> budget amendment from the general purpose school fund. The amendment adds to the budget revenue received from Walker Cross Wilson campaign uh, and also adjusts budget line items for general education positions that were moved to CTE positions. What happens sometimes when you have open positions and principals don't fill them and they've had started beginning to see a need to add CTE positions with those and so we're asking to make that move increases the insurance budget line items due to actual insurance costs being more than estimated we ran through the budget we did not have a final number we've got that number you can see it's increases up more than we estimated for liability insurance adds budget line item for two employees that are on hybrid retirement and that just happens to many employees we deal with occasionally you'll hire somebody and think they're on legacy and then find out to move them to hybrid just the budget for innovative schools model grant aligns with what was approved in e-plan uh, which means that this has been approved by the state and I'll, I'll go into more detail on that and it also adds the, to the budget the public security grant it's been approved recently we've got those figures back to the innovative schools model uh, just to refresh your memory, that's a, was a state grant that we received, and all this has to be approved by the state. What we're doing is adding uh, seven greenhouses at our middle schools, bringing that down to the middle school. Uh, adding the culinary commercial kitchen at Madjun High School, it's going to be a big project when it's needed. Adding another culinary kitchen to Green Hill High School. Adding automotive program. Green Hill High School, uh, Large Animal Barn Lab, Will Central Green Hill High School, uh, <coughs> very important. Adding a shop overhang expansion to LHS. Uh, that's an outside area that we can add, just a covered area where they can do some work out there. And also a culinary lab expansion also at LHS. So as you can see, the emphasis, this was CT money that has to be used, has to be approved. And the reason we're making a budget amendment now, it's like a lot of grants, you get the grants and then you go through the process. These are construction items that we feel like we have to make this move because the cost has went up from when we first received the grant and what it said. So the state's approved that and we're just bringing that and putting it part of our budget amendment. Any questions? The greenhouse is going to the middle schools of that. Will that include the K-8 schools too? Yes. Yep. Okay. Uh, and the, hopefully we can get those built this year, and then we'll be adding those programs next year. And uh, I'm very excited about that. Also, just mention the culinary. You can see our students are just, that is one area that they all want. And, and there's a need yeah. where, where we live. There's so many good opportunities for them. So we're <coughs> excited about what we're doing with that money. Yeah. yeah Green Hill used to actually sell through the car line oh, or yeah. to parents. I miss that so much. Their muffins are to die for, so if you ever need breakfast, Green Hill High School is amazing. You can't so. sell to the car line anymore? No, sadly. Was that I, was, I think they sell so much to the students internally yeah, <laughs> that they don't have okay. capacity to be able to sell to parents anymore. So, yeah. yeah. So that was sad for me, but good for them. So, yeah, they do a really great job. Motion up there. So. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any other comments or questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Uh, just reports of things that's going on. Um, if you've been by West Wilson, you're seeing that building really take shape. Uh, we have requested our furniture to be delivered December. Of course, I understand that you got to put it all together. Still don't have a date for opening. Uh, but I can tell you that building is coming along really nicely. Yeah. Uh, and a lot going on, even what you see from outside. Uh, this week when I was down there, it looks like they're about to wrap up the metal roofing. 
uh, inside they've already started doing some of the painting uh, starting to set units so uh, a lot going on with that building uh, well, I'm glad they're putting a the roof on it I, I get tired of them people asking me why there's words on top of the roof well <laughs> that under but it looks like metal. I showed up in a meeting about to blow a gasket. I said, please tell me that's not our final product. <laughs> and uh, it, it's not. That's just the underlayment. Uh, we'll, we'll have a groundbreaking with Gardo. Next Friday, you should have received an invitation. I think you all did receive an invitation. 1130. Yeah, 1130. Yeah. And then we'll begin ready to start that process. Uh, other than that, fall break. And we already got nine weeks down. Still watching our numbers grow a little bit. I think last month you provided the enrollment numbers and data capacity, and uh, we're, we're still growing. In fact, uh, won't be surprised if the rate we're growing is not top one or two percent in the state this year. Uh, looks like some other areas have kind of fell off just a little bit, but we're just continuing to grow. Is there any um, the um, the old building beside South Side? Side of what you're going to do over there? I've, I've got that building. I've got some other properties that there's there's a piece of property that touches South Side, that old lot. I don't know if you're familiar with It's a four or five acre lot. I, I've requested uh, Mr. Jennings, I don't even know the procedure, so he's supposed to be looking up the procedure, how we would liquidate property. Uh, and I know he's working on that, and then I'll be taking that to the board to see what they want to do with it. How are we doing on buses? No, no. Uh, just talked to Mr. Hardaway this afternoon. Uh, you know, we, we keep at him. We got four more. Got permits. He's got more in training. He is convinced if we can hold everybody that here, shortly we're going to be in better shape than we've been in years. Uh, but sometimes that training takes people longer. Yes, sir. <clears throat> but it's very active. This time last year it was not an active area. We just didn't have any uh, applicants. We're now we're getting applicants. We're getting them in training. And we're putting them on routes, and so. Uh, we're heading in the right direction. What's the situation on teachers? Uh, well, we're nine weeks in, and we we maintain uh, we're okay. Special education is a major concern. Math is a concern, and then there's, uh, something that's happening. A lot of these people that are on permit, states allow you to come in on a permit. We, we we we've had some work one or two days and say this is. I had no idea it was this much, and so. It's, it's just a revolving door that we've never experienced in education. But our schools are staff we're able to maintain, and uh, we've just got to stay recruitment. Uh, last night our HR was at Vanderbilt for a job fair and told me this morning more, more they got more applications for May graduates than they've seen in four or five years. So we've already started to work with some of those people and make contacts with principals. Uh, and so starting to see a little bit of change. And, and sometimes when the economy goes down, people return to teaching. And we're starting to see that a little bit. So I know the legislature's put together a committee to look and see if there's a way to decline, I think, $1.9 billion of state of uh, federal education dollars. Um, I know for Wilson County in total, between Wilson County Schools and Lebanon Special, it's to the tune of about $18 million is what we'd lose. Um, I know they uh, I've been in touch with one of the representatives who's actually on the committee the first meeting is gonna be November 6th I don't have a location yet so but I'll throw it out there as soon as I find out do you have any additional information or thoughts on I, I don't where my this thoughts is going? are uh, I've been asked that several times I have a, a lot of questions about what that would look like uh, I think it's important that committee's been set to let that community do the work be involved with questions and, and <coughs> Uh, see what that com comes out of that committee but uh, I have a lot of questions of how how that would impact schools and, and us as a county uh, just uh, for the, f the food program you know our, our rates are low but that's because we're subsidized federal money mm -hmm. if you take away that federal money are we gonna have to raise rates uh, and, and just all kind of questions you know I've, I've been told where well, the state's going to supplement but I think that's why it's important to let that committee do their job. Let them start asking some questions of what that supplement supply looks what like. What would be the reason to oh. not accept it? Well, what, what they're saying, they feel like that we're tied to some federal regulations. Okay. They would probably like to get away from it. And, and uh, that's why it's important to let that committee do its work and, and see what they find. 
and then get that report back, and then then, then I think it's easier to take a position uh, one way or the other. But I, me looking at my budget, my number one, main thing is I can't take any less money from the state or federal government. I mean that's just sure. that's not doable. Okay. Anybody have anything else they would like to ask or share? One other motion? Motion adjourned. Second. Thank you all.